and hath been tamed of mankind, but the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Of the same month proceedeth blessings and cursings. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Doth the fountain send forth the same sweet water and bitter? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries? Can a vine figs? So can no fountain yield both salt water and fresh. <coughs> so can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries? Can a fig tree bear olive berries? We're going to get into that in another video about grafting and stuff and some real interesting stuff and the tree of life and the 14 fruits on it, the different fruits on it. Who is a wise man and endeth with knowledge among you? Let him sh show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. When people are teaching you flat, spherical, dome earth, are they using words of meekness and wisdom? Or are they getting really wryly, wryly with you? Watch for that. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lay not against, lie not against the truth. So, if you've got strife and envy in your hearts, you're lying against the truth? Watch for that. The wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. Earthly? Is about the shape of the earth earthly matter? Absolutely. Dead, dead on earthly matter. Sensual and devil devilish? So we got to be real careful when we're saying something that isn't true or passing on a lie. It's devilish. That's right. Maybe that's why these people have these spirits. And it is a flat earth. It is a spirit. It's a spirit. I'm going to show you that. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. Envying and strife? Yeah, that brings confusion in every evil work. So be careful. We're dealing with something that's very evil. <clears throat> but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. So if someone's teaching you whether your earth is spherical, flat, domed, make sure it's without hypocrisy. And if, remember, if you make one mistake and you're actually prophesying, saying the earth is a certain, certain shape, you're prophesying. If you make one mistake, God says, don't listen to that person anymore. So if you catch someone in, in one lie that they passed on, you don't believe anything anymore. You don't need to deal with them anymore. Full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. So is someone that teaching you a spherical earth making peace? Are they making peace? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not the way they're going on. Not the way they're going on. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to have a little prayer. And Father God, thank you for this introduction today on, on the shape of the earth. Is it a sphere? Is it a sphere? Is it, a sphere? Is it flat? Is it domed? Uh, does it have a canopy? Uh, just show us all these things in your word, Father God. And, and, and especially the spirit that these... These, these certain beliefs are bringing on people and the spirit that they're projecting onto us. And that spirit is, is we know it's very devilish and we know how it can overtake us very easily. So we have to be very careful what we're listening to and make sure the scripture is not being abused, it's being properly used. And uh, thank you, Father God, for this teaching today. And uh, bless us all and all the listeners and all the hearers of the word that uh, they can come to the knowledge of the truth. Thank you, and Jesus Christ Almighty's mighty name and word amen so thanks guys the, uh, where we are today is the in the interior of, of uh, Suriname South America is way up uh, up up the river and uh, we're gonna be going on another little journey today and uh, we're gonna do some fishing and show you what kind of fish and maybe even some of the types of fish the Lord ate who knows uh, maybe he'll bless us today thank you everyone